In this video, we're going to make a multi-page application with the Meteor JavaScript framework. Specifically, we're going to make it so there's a template attached to the home page and a different template attached to a contact page. So when, for example, the user navigates to domain.com forward slash contact, a template will appear. To achieve this, we're going to have to learn about routing. And if you've ever built a web application before, you've probably come across routing. And if that's the case, this is going to be pretty simple. If you've never come across the idea of routing and routes though, we're going to take this quite slow and it still shouldn't be too difficult. So as you can see here on the screen, I am inside a Meteor project and we've got the local server running. And what we're going to do first is add a third party package to this project. This package will make it much easier to both create and manage routes and at this point it's basically a standard package anyway. Just about every developer uses it. To add this package to our project what we'll do is write the meteor add command and then we'll go iron colon router and then we'll hit the return key. It shouldn't take too long to download and install. And then what we're going to do at this point is create a contact page. So you'll be able to visit the forward slash contact path and have a certain template appear. So inside our project's HTML file, we'll start by creating a template, meaning we'll just go template name equals contact. And then inside the template, we'll just put the word contact inside a pair of H1 tags and we'll save that. It doesn't really matter what content is inside the template at this point. It's just really whatever. Then we'll switch over to our JavaScript file to create our first route. And because of the package we added before, we now have access to a router.map function. And it's within this function that we define the routes for our project. If you're not familiar with the inner workings of the map function, don't worry though. You really just need to know that we define our routes inside this block of code. As for how to create the route itself, this is what the syntax looks like. We go this dot route, and then we pass through a name for this route. In this case, we'll call the route contact. And just based on what we've written here, our route is up and running. And that's because Iron Router makes a couple of assumptions for the sake of convenience. First, because we've named the route contact, it'll search for a template of that same name. So this contact route will be attached to the contact template. Second, it's also going to assume that we want the path to be forward slash contact. So if we head back to the browser, we should be able to see the route in action. And there we go. We have the contact template appearing when we visit the contact path. From here, we'll make a second route because we also want a template to appear when we visit the home page. So inside the HTML file, we'll create a new template and we can call this one home. Then over in the JavaScript file, we'll create the second route. So this dot route, and then we'll pass through the name of home. But since we don't want this route to have the path of forward slash home, we can manually define a path for this route by changing one of its options. So as the second argument for this route, we pass through a pair of curly braces and then set the path option with the value of forward slash. If we save the file, the home template we made a moment ago will now appear when we visit the home page. So at this point, we have a couple of routes. And of course, it makes sense for us to link these routes together. The simplest way to do this is to write a hard coded link inside one of our templates. So here we can just write a link from the home route to the contact route. But if, for instance, we change the path of the contact route to something other than forward slash contact, then the original link will break. This means by hard coding our links, we end up creating a lot more work for ourselves if the structure of the application ever changes. To account for this, Iron Router has a feature that makes it much easier to link routes together. So inside the HTML file, what we can do is use a special path for tag instead of using a hard coded link. And based on our use of the double curly braces, we can tell this is the spacebar syntax. And we can just simply pass through a name of a route. In this case, we want a link to the contact route. So we'll simply write contact. This means that 
no matter how we change the path value of the contact route, our links will continue to work as expected. Then last up, to demonstrate yet another useful and common feature of Iron Router, we'll do a couple of things. First, we'll create a contact form inside the contact template. And second, we'll make it so when this form is submitted, the user will be taken to a confirmation page. This is a fairly common design pattern in web applications and Iron Router really makes it easy. So inside the contact template, let's start by making a simple contact form. This doesn't have to be anything special. It can just be a text field and a submit button. Just make it look something like this. Then in the JavaScript file, we'll set up an isClient conditional because we only want this code running inside the user's web browser. And then in this conditional, we'll attach an event to the contact template. In this case, we want to create a submit form event. And when creating the events function, make sure to pass through the event itself. This means we can use the prevent default function inside the event, and therefore we can prevent the browser from applying any default behavior to the form. This means that now the form is completely under our control. Next, we use a router.go function that's provided to us by the iron router package. Then we pass through the name of a route, and in this case we'll pass through the name confirmation. And so the end result is that this go function will redirect users to the specified route. So when a user submits the contact form, they'll be taken to a confirmation page. This means we just have to create the confirmation route like so, this dot route, and then pass through the name confirmation. And then we create a confirmation template inside the HTML file. In this case, it can just say something generic like, you submitted the form. If we save our project and switch back to the browser, we can see that when we submit the contact form, we're now taken to this confirmation page. And while we've only covered the absolute basics of Iron Router, there's a lot you can do with what we've talked about. For more information though, you may also want to check out the official documentation, which is available on GitHub.